Hey, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to do an extreme strength test on the X-Tool Metal Fab Laser Welder. Super easy to swap out your wires. Just pull your little roller off, your drive roller, and switch it to the correct one and pop her back on. Lock her in place. All these rollers are, uh, they got grooves for different size wire, so. And then grab your roll of wire. We're going with 3 -0. that's the flavor, because, well, that's what my local store had when I went to pick up some wire. Careful not to let go of your wire. It's a bad time if you do. What, these things got little lockers? You just gotta use them? Just feed her on through. And adjust these to your your right wire setting. A little chart on the door shows you exactly what to set them to. 3-0 wire, 2-5 for the left tensioner, and 2-0 for the right. Here's the next cool thing. Look it. Yeah, you just control it by a button right on the freaking machine. There it is. Oops, I went too far. Wait, what? They thought of that. Check this out. They got a reverse button. Are you ready to see how fast this thing lays a bead? First, we gotta hook up our wire feed. You know, because you don't need wire. You can just fuse the metal together if you don't need to add no material. Look how fast this is to set up. Gives you a little guideline, a little mark to set your thing at. Clip your little thing in here and make sure your laser is hitting the tip. That's simple, we're ready to weld. Wait till you see how fast we can lay a seven inch bead. It's pretty simple. You know, measure your metal out and then just hit a button on the welder. Enable the laser and enable the wire feed. Be honest with you, I think it takes more time to hit all the buttons than it does to lay the weld. Are you ready? Let's try another one. Give her a little tack. So I took this nice piece of angle iron and uh, I cut it in half. Now we're going to weld it back together and then we'll go and take it and bend it and hit it with a hammer or something and we'll see how strong that weld is. Lay such a nice bead. Okay. 
Well, here's another really cool feature. Just flip your uh, wire feed wire off, pop it to the side, and then you just pop your tip out, and you slide in the cleaning tip. And then you come over to your machine. And you simply hit the button. I want to go from weld to clean. I want to clean carbon steel. I'm going to do a five millimeter width and uh, enable laser. Confirm that you got your safety gear on and well, you're ready to clean the metal. All with the same machine. Pretty nifty, huh? Now you just run over your weld to make sure it's all clean. Freaking super cool. I'll get you in a little closer so you can see this thing in action. The other nice thing is this thing burns in so nicely, like you don't have a big pile of weld to freaking grind down when you're all done. Look how nice that cleans it. Not bad. Well, let's go find something to bend this on. I mean, you gotta admit, that's a pretty decent freaking weld. It burned in there nice too. Well, are you ready? Ready for what? Ready to see how strong the weld is. Come on. So I could do what most people do and put it in a vise and beat it with a hammer and, or I could put it in the toe hitch of my square body and uh, bring my tractor bucket up to it and bend it that way. And that sounds a lot more better to me. So this metal is about four millimeter, which is equivalent to about six gauge. It's angle iron. So it's, it's pretty sturdy stuff is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that'll work. about you all but uh that seems pretty strong to me huh look we made an s for square max customs uh yeah our weld looks perfectly fine so that's cool what's that you want to do more bending on it uh okay i won't argue all right let's put a pipe on it oh
Well, I didn't want to feel left out, so I got these two pieces of stainless steel that was sent with the machine. They're about two millimeter, 12 gauge. Uh, we're gonna bend it and then smash it with a hammer. Well, that weld didn't break, so that's pretty cool. Check it out, she smushed and squished and uh, collapsed and well, the weld never broke. Well, I'm gonna say that it did pretty good and it passed its strength test as um, these pieces of metal are completely mangled and well, the welds are still good. So with that being said, uh, X-Tool has a bunch of deals going on from now until December 5th. So make sure you head on over and see what kind of deals they got. And if you'd like to check out this machine for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. I appreciate y'all watching. 